YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button to join the Happy Soul Tribe and you won't miss out on future videos with me. I post faith-based lifestyle content and I'm about to shift into motherhood, so it's about to get real exciting up in here. So I, I figured that I would sit down and do a pregnancy update today because I am almost 32 weeks and I haven't done an update since 18 weeks. So that's a long time. It's like 14 weeks ago, if my math is right. So a lot has happened, but also it doesn't feel like much has happened. I feel like time is flying by, like seriously. No one really warned me how fast this would go. I feel like all I heard from people was that pregnancy drags on and on and you're just like dying and waiting for the baby to come. That has not been the case for me. I don't know if it's because I'm pregnant in the pandemic or what, but it has flown by and I have enjoyed pretty much every minute of it. So I wanted to do some updates on symptoms, what we've been doing um, and how things are progressing, things like that. Um, first, we'll start with symptoms. A lot has changed. In my 18 week update, I talked about heartburn. That has not really gone away. It's only really gotten worse. However, the last like four to five days, it hasn't been a problem for me um, throughout the day at all, and then it will only wake me up like once or twice in the middle of the night, which is totally fine with me because it was to the point where it was all day, all night, and I just felt like I wasn't getting any rest. So I have noticed that it depends on what I eat that day a little bit. Um, so I've been trying to look out for like trigger foods and stuff like that. But for the most part, I don't really, I, I, I don't know what's causing it and nothing has really particularly helped. So I've been looking into some natural stuff like some people recommended papaya enzymes. So I'll have to ask my midwives at my next appointment if those are going to be an option for me. I just stay super hydrated and try to eat very small meals very often. I think that has been something that has major helped. Just feeling like a little bit more out of breath. Those are really my only symptoms. Like I definitely feel like he's taking up more room. I get kicked in my lower right rib cage. So he's up there. I think like he's sitting all the way up right under like my chest plate and stuff. So my app says that he should be around 16 inches i think at this point 16 and a quarter inches and three and a quarter pounds so he's a big boy i mean that's still really small but compared to 18 weeks the last time i updated you guys he is big and he's going to get way bigger before i deliver which is crazy how much growing i still have to do just like feeling him kick in my ribs is a new sensation. I love it. I love feeling him kick and move. And I should say I love feeling him move because I don't really feel kicks anymore. It used to be like random jabs and stuff, but now it's more like rolling and him resituating is all I feel. It's a very different sensation, but it's the best feeling in the whole world. And I wish that like Austin could experience it because it's so hard to explain to him. Um, but he does get to feel him quite often like at nighttime and stuff so and he definitely has a little routine down of moving around throughout the day like there's certain times of day that I can just expect I'm gonna feel him move and that's always like first thing in the morning when I'm eating breakfast he's usually having a little party while I do my morning routine he's always moving when I'm trying to fall asleep at night and he moves like in the middle of the night at like one o'clock in the morning so He's got a little schedule. Maybe he'll be like me. Maybe he'll like routine. We'll see. I don't have any cravings, really. Um, I've been like, I guess I've wanted sugar more than I did before because my whole pregnancy, like from the day I found out, I did not want anything to do with sugar. Like for some reason it was really gross to me. Everything was way too rich. I only wanted natural sugar. Like fruit was amazing. Um, now I do crave like Ben and Jerry's here and there or a Coke. Um, but for the most part, I still have been eating my normal like balanced way because I just find that really important in pregnancy. And I notice that I feel my best when I just keep up with my normal routine. So no cravings. Um, I thought 
I kind of was a little bit sad that I feel like I've missed out on that part of pregnancy. Like I feel like that's a part of pregnancy that people hype up. They're like the cravings and the random late night runs to go get your like whatever you're craving. And that just hasn't happened for me. I feel like I am more on the other side where it's very hard to find something that sounds really good to me. Like I kind of just eat because I know I have to. So that's not the most fun. Um, but I don't really have any other symptoms. I'm just feeling larger and um, I'm officially in my third trimester and I will say that although I experienced first trimester exhaustion, I would like to know why people said that first trimester exhaustion was worse than third because I personally am way more exhausted in my third trimester. Like, if it is past 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I am basically useless from 3 to 6 p.m. Usually around like 5.30, I'll muster up the energy to get up and cook dinner, or I'm like, okay, Celeste, you just, you gotta shower, do your skincare routine, clean up the house, like, get yourself going so you can at least make it to bedtime. But I have been so exhausted, and it comes in waves, um, which is just really new for me because I've never in my whole life, I've just never been a tired person. I've never needed naps. I've never really cared about sleep. I could go with like five to six hours of sleep. Now that I'm very pregnant, I need like literally a minimum of 10 hours of sleep. Minimum. It's rough. Um, I'm very grateful that right now I don't have any other kids, so I don't really have any other people to take care of i don't know i don't know how pregnant moms function because if you had a kid to take care of and couldn't just sleep in or take naps i could imagine that being very difficult i've been feeling really good i've still been working out like three to four days a week staying active i've been trying to do like lots of stretching just getting my body ready for labor um because that's how i'm approaching it is like this is something i need to train for because it's going to be very hard and i feel like i mean more power to you if you're the type of person who feels better just knowing nothing about labor and just like doing it but i would i know that i will perform better and feel better and just be better mentally through labor if I'm educated and feel like I've prepared myself for it. So I've been doing lots of hip opening stretches, I've been drinking raspberry leaf tea every night, um, and we have some birth classes that we've been going to. We have, I think, three more to go to, and they've been so helpful. Um, it's just this doula that teaches them, and she's amazing, and we've learned so much just about like potential risks and um, like the different options that you have in labor and delivery that maybe the hospital or wherever you're giving birth doesn't tell you, but so you think you don't have them, but you have a lot more freedom than you think. And just like birth preferences, things like that. I can't even believe that I'm at the point where that's what I'm like thinking about. It feels like it just flew by. I would love to say that his room is done. It is not at all. Since I posted that video a few, weeks ago a month ago now where we put the floors in painted his room and kind of got some stuff in there i've done nothing i have not washed his clothes i haven't put anything away i also haven't had a shower yet and i think that's kind of why i've been putting it off because i'm hoping i'll get really what i need at my shower so that i can finish off his room and finish off like getting his stuff organized but i'm just not sure maybe i shouldn't count on that because you just don't know so um yeah, I, I plan on doing some more of that this week and this weekend. What else? Oh, I totally forgot. I do have a new symptom, you guys, and it's TMI. And if you don't want to hear it, then you can just leave. Um, My girls have been leaking. And everyone kind of warned me about that and said, like, it may or may not happen to you. But I kid you not, it was like one day, nothing, and then the next morning I woke up and I was like, um, excuse me, like, my shirt was wet, the bed was wet, it, it was everywhere. So that's been interesting to adjust to, but also kind of exciting, like, I don't know, it's, it's just weird. There's so, so, so much that happens to your body during pregnancy that, like, you kind of just start to enjoy the ride and expect wild things like this to happen. Austin and I were just talking about it last night. Like he had his hand on my belly and we were just talking about how weird 
and wild and amazing and incredible it is that like you just your body does everything it needs to do to produce a human and then you have everything you need to take care of that human after they're here and it's just crazy that we can even do that i like you grow bones and a brain and a heart and a and organs and a personality in there it's just wild it's like the most amazing thing in the whole world and definitely like even more evidence to me that we have a creator pregnancy has just taught me so much more about god and like his artistry i guess i'm definitely more out of breath than what i'm used to and what i would like to be um like just going up and down the stairs exhausts me like like i have to breathe heavy which is so odd because i say that and then i just kill a peloton workout like I told Austin, I will not understand, I will never understand how it's so hard for me to bend over and pull my leggings up, put my own shoes on, and like do those kind of things. But then I can go do a Peloton class and jump lunges and deadlifts and power cleans and feel great. Like during my workout, I don't even feel pregnant. I feel invincible and amazing and strong. And then it's the normal everyday tasks of like putting lotion on my legs and putting my own socks and shoes on that are so hard. Like this belly just gets in the way. <laughs> Baby shower is in about like a little under a month now. It's gonna be a small in-person gathering. So that's gonna be really exciting to celebrate him and just like, I don't know. It's so, I get so giddy whenever I talk to like my mom or Austin's mom or any of my friends about it. I just. It's so awesome knowing that the people around us are just as excited for him as I am. And my baby shower is like Pooh Bear themed. I loved Pooh Bear when I was little. So my mom is doing like a vintage Pooh Bear theme and I know it's just gonna be amazing and I can not wait. Um, we've been working with Bean, come here, come here. We've been trying to work with Beanie. You don't like the camera, do you? He's a little, he's, see how he's just staring at the door? Our door's over here, and whenever Austin's not home, he spends all day staring at the door and barking at every sound he hears. He literally does not relax until Austin is home, but we've been trying to work with him on being around babies because he does not do well with children and babies. I think like the unpredictable, like sudden movements and noises really scare him. He's such a scared, dog and so um my vet recommended to get baby things out and have them be out and have him see me hold a baby doll he doesn't do well with the doll and i know everyone said well the doll doesn't have your scent but that's not the thing like we've seen him around real babies and he's kind of the same way he's just very skittish and like cannot focus on anything other than the fact that that baby is in the room and he does not like it so that's been something we've been praying about and trying to really help him with because i want him to adjust well i want to be able to keep him um i know that it'll take a while but like we just we want to try to get ahead of it if we can so washing like baby bee's clothes and having my scent and i think that my mother-in-law is going to take bean when i go into labor and then he'll come We'll come home with the baby and slowly like introduce him to baby and see how he does. So that's just been something that we've been working towards. I told my vet I just really want um, Bean to still be able to enjoy being home. I think it'll just be a harder adjustment because not a lot of dogs are in his situation where he's home with me all day long and he's never not known that. I've worked from home since we've had him and most dogs like get separation from their owners, he doesn't. So I feel like he's extra protective, extra attached to me and it's just something that I don't wanna be ignorant to and I wanna train him as much as we can. I had my glucose test, which if you don't know and you've never been pregnant, maybe you don't know what this is, but at like 27 to 29 weeks, you'll have a test to see how your body is handling glucose and your blood sugar and all of that. They take your blood like an hour later and it tests for gestational diabetes, which is a form of diabetes that only pregnant women develop. And I think it is only, would only show up like past 20 weeks, I think. 
Um, my test came back great. I don't have gestational diabetes, which is really reassuring. There's not really much you can do to control whether or not you have it. Unfortunately, like you could eat super healthy and still get it or really unhealthy and not get it. Doesn't really work like that. They don't know why women get it, but I was pretty worried because um, I my test was like the day we got back from our baby moon and obviously when you're on vacation you eat a little bit more relaxed and so I was a little worried because we had a 12 hour drive where we were eating like fast food because there was nothing else available and so I was worried about my test results but everything was fine my blood work was great baby is measuring right on track I haven't had an ultrasound since 20 weeks so I don't know what he looks like or how big he is um, we are not gonna do a 4d or 3d ultrasound I just we don't really want to um, I don't feel like it's necessary and I don't know if I will be getting another ultrasound before he's here I've heard maybe they'll do one like 36 weeks to see if he's head down but most of the time my doctor just checks using their hands so I guess we'll see I'm praying for a birth at the birth center so if you guys wanted to join me in praying for that that would be awesome basically just as long as I'm complication and risk-free and everything's safe with him I'll be able to deliver there and I would love to have like a water birth and um, there's so many reasons I want to deliver there but the main reason just being like the environment I know is a lot more calming for me and I'm such an environment person and like mental person that I know that if I'm like in a hospital room and there's beeping and a bunch of strangers in and out I'm just not gonna feel super comfortable and I feel like it would cause my labor to slow down so if you guys want to pray for that with me as well and Another reason that I really want to be able to give birth there is because Austin would be able to be much more involved and that's what he wants too because obviously that's like the biggest day of his life and mine and so it's only fair for him to be able to be involved. So um, if I give birth at the birth center he'll be able to be like super hands on and I know he wants that, I want that. So that's something that you guys could be praying for if you want to. Um, definitely something we're praying for other than that I don't really think I have any other updates I will do a bump date um, and show you guys my belly <laughs> and I hopefully will do one more pregnancy update before he's here but again I don't know because I went literally 14 weeks between this one and the last one so and I only have eight weeks left little bump date for you this is where we are sitting at 32 weeks Almost. I'm 31 weeks and three, four days. So it's very round. It feels like a basketball. But I feel like it definitely popped these last couple of weeks. He's gotten a lot bigger. Like I'm getting kicks up here, down here. So he's taken up all this room. And that's going to be the end of this video. If you have any questions, or anything that you want to ask about my pregnancy go ahead and leave them below and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already that way you do not miss out on future uploads with me and um, make sure you go out of your way today to love on someone and make them feel extra special just because they are I'll catch you guys in the next video